I do. I like Diana Tofu. Certainly.
As shrouded in mist as the mountains may be, we still should have been able to see something of this size from the... Furthermore, the structure clearly differs from Lord Takaribi's fall. This leads me to believe that the leader of the demons has been quite diligent in its construction. And for some time... So, this leader is skilled enough to have built such a grandiose castle right under our noses, hmm? Now then. How shall we proceed, Princess? We've come this far already. It shall be a pile of rubble ere long. Was him after all. Is he asleep? An aura of intense malice surrounds him. My hair is standing on end. There remains no doubt that he is the leader of the demons. Ah, I was wondering who weaseled in here. If it isn't the brat from the 
bridge. It has been some time indeed. You've grown quite powerful since I last saw you. Well, you know, I got here well before you folk. I had plenty of time to sharpen my edges, if you catch my drift. If you knew we had come, why did you not bring your full might to bear against us? I had my hands full with other stuff. Some rowdy fellas needed a good thrashing. <laughs> had to show them who's boss around here. <laughs> In any case, your time is up. I've defeated your underlings. You are the last. Surrender and stand down! The last, you say? Those demons were just for show. You've defeated nothing, and you never will. I dare you to try and lay a hand on me! It's time to pay you back for what you did to me on that bridge! Then, I'll take care of Katsura, along with the woman and the kids! He's coming, Princess! Talimon, I shall stop him in your stead! Now hold still! <laughs> as you did before. I shall let you go, so make your egress. I made a promise to spare your life. You won't kill me? <sighs> this is Katsura's meddling, isn't it? That irritating little... He is concerned for you. You may not have the words for him now, but someday you should speak with him frankly. How naive. Given the chance, I'd sooner slit his throat than listen to his drivel. Besides, before long... Hmm? Before long what, pray tell? What is this? An earthquake? Ah! A princess! Look! The mountain, it's burning! <laughs> It's begun! What is the meaning of this? Tell me- Surely you already know his name. The evil god Omizuchi has awoken. Oh, uh, Omizuchi, you say? Ridiculous! He was- Indeed, he was put down by the gods in the capital and the Ashikumo tribe. But he didn't die. He escaped and hid deep within this island, biding his time. What? As soon as I arrived on this island, we found each other. He and I are one and the same. I could smell it on him. That same stench of irrepressible hatred and fury I know so well. I lent a hand in healing his wounds, and in exchange, he gave me the power of demons. After we had destroyed the capital together, we had planned to cross that bridge and assault the lowly realm. But 
look at what he can do merely by waking up. Your mind will boggle at what happens when he bursts forth from beneath the earth. He amassed such incredible power for the sole purpose of blowing the god's capital to bits. Destroying this island is nothing for him. <laughs> uh, wait, please! Killing him will change nothing. You made a promise with Tawimon. But... but... He will reap his just deserts in time. You know full well how a human bereft of demonic powers will fare on this island. True. If he does not rely on us, he will know no peace. Still, none of this bodes well. <sighs> Say, Tama, do you think I can defeat Omizuchi as I am now? You have truly grown strong in both mind and body. You are likely stronger than most gods in the capital now. For me, there is no greater happiness. However, unfortunately, you have yet to reach your father's heights. And it seems as though Homizuchi is much more powerful now than he was in the past. It would take the full might of every god in the capital to bring him to heal. If only Lord Takeribi and Lady Toyohana would return. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Princess, do you wish to protect this island? The island where your parents met. The island where you have worked and lived alongside the children of men. Of course I do. But what can we do alone? We have spoken of the power that lies dormant within your divine raiment. Should you desire it, a suitable sacrifice is required. To put it in simpler terms, you can obtain power if you pay a price. What are you trying to say? Now is the time to summon forth the hidden power within your holy keepsake, my lady. That Raymond's true name is the shawl that crosses realms. I do not know who made it, or to what end. Nor do I know what will happen if you unlock its true potential, no matter how resolved you are to stand firm against Omizuchi. It will mean nothing if he is sent to another realm, and then... Then? What? I, Tama, the holy edge of Hoshidama, will melt myself down and be reformed into a new farm tool for you. If you wield a farm tool that holds the power of the Holy Sword, you may be able to pierce even Omizuchi's fearsome hide. Nay, I will strike Omizuchi true, even if it takes everything I have. He will melt down and be reformed? How can you say that, Tama? If you do that, you'll surely... My soul now resides only in the hilt of the sword. Granting me this physical form. If I am dissolved and reformed with new iron, I will be reborn as a holy sword. But I will likely lose my soul in the process. No! Why would you task me with making such a dreadful decision? Are you telling me to offer you as a sacrifice? You who raised me all by yourself? You are very kind, princess. I am not worthy of such sentiment. Truly, my heart overflows with joy. However, in the end, I am but a sword. I cut down countless foes in the able grip of Lord Takeribi. So if I can once again fulfill that duty by acting as your sword, then I will pass beyond this realm free of worldly regrets. No! Path you would set me upon. A victory without you would be hollow! <laughs> <laughs>
You must show that insolent Omezuchi the willpower possessed by the gods of Yanato! This is ridiculous! I won't have it! Your sacrifice does not assure our triumph! We may all end up dead regardless! Yes, it is as Kinda said! It is not worth it if we are killed! Hear me, Tama. Do not speak of this again! That is an order from your master! The princess! Mud? No. Ash mixed with rain. In any case, let us return home for now. I am concerned for the others and our fields. to help everyone escape, but I failed to protect the house and fields. Forgive me. So everyone is alive? Thank goodness. Where are they now? In a nearby cave. Follow me. Lady Sakuna! Tama! to get away, and even grab some supplies from the storehouse, but everything else was... the house, the fields that stood as proof of your toil. Ah! It was that demon rabbit. After you went to the fort, it creeped out of the pass a bunch of times while it was still on the mend. It kept bringing it back after it collapsed at the base, but it must have led the other demons here. I told you we needed to kill it, damn it! What's done is done. We must discuss what we are to do next. Next? What do you mean, next? This is it! We're through! We're through. What should we do, goddess? The house and fields are both destroyed. Even if we were to rebuild, this ashy rain has corrupted the soil. Perhaps this is truly the end. 
we brought some straw mats with us. If we cover the fields with them, then this muddy rain might... We cannot possibly cover everything with the number of mats we have here. Then we stop the rain and begin anew. There are rice husks here. We have not lost everything. We can rebuild the house and the shed. The grass and trees will regrow come spring. And the soil will eventually... Quit it already, Pops! Shut your trap! <laughs> Kaimuru, do not rub your eyes. What should I do in the face of such despair? I... I have no clue. Princess, where are you going? Uh, the, the toilet. Uh, that's right. We no longer have one. Here I am again. Why'd I come here back then? I worked as I was told to this entire year! Day after day, I hunted, tended the fields, and kept a watchful eye on you people! And as a reward for my backbreaking labor, I am offered this inedible refuse! Has the world gone mad? Nothing has improved at all! Nothing's improved. Huh? Those words certainly ring true now. I fled again for a similar reason. I thought I had changed. What in the world am I doing? Back then, Tama and Tawimon came for me, but this time, they are consumed with their own concerns. There is no blizzard this time. If I row out to sea, even if I can't reach the capital, will I arrive on some other island, or will I simply end up here again? They would not be able to survive on this island without me. If we return to the capital, at least Tama and I would find asylum. And yet, I cannot imagine that Lady Kamehitsuki and the other gods would deign to look after the humans, given Omizuchi's imminent attack. And Ashigumo and the Kappa would not be permitted to so much as pass through the capital gates. I have grown fond of everyone here. I enjoy my life on this island. Suddenly, it seems so obvious. The only one with the strength to protect this place. No, having the strength is only half of it. The one who wants to protect this place is none other than I, Princess Sakuna. I shall safeguard all that I have gained. Hmm? My, I beg your pardon. I came to see how you were doing as promised. By the way, was that some sort of boat I bumped into just now? Ah, uh, uh, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Allow me to show you the way. Welcome back, Lady Sakuna. Yo, you're late. We were all waiting for you, Goddess. Hi! Welcome, Sakuna. Who is that person? It is a pleasure to meet you. I am called Princess Kokorowa. I am Sakuna's dear friend. What? You've actually got a friend? <sighs> How insolent! Quiet, you! More importantly, though, what is this? Mm, well... We all talked it over and decided to rebuild. We thought it would be best to start with the dwelling, so we set to work right away. But I'm afraid my clumsy hands held us back. Please build us a true house! Leaky roofs and walls full of holes won't bother us. We're ready for anything. Everyone. 
Princess, I knew that you would return to us. Behold, the indomitable spirit of the children of men. We gods must not be outdone by them. Indeed, you could not be more correct. Uh, again? With the Tekusari dumplings? We're back to having no meat or veggies. At least this will fill your tummy. That's what I said! Don't be a copycat! I like these. That one's mine! Uh, Kaimaru's the only one on my side! <laughs> 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 now, we may have some rough days ahead, but at least for tonight, let us laugh and make merry. <laughs> Princess, you should say something as well. I before the eruption. If we replace it, we will be starting from scratch. Then let us first think of a way to remove only the ash from the soil. Only the ash? Is such a thing possible? The soil is sticky because of the ashy rain. In other words, the ash dissolved in the water. If we flood the fields and plow them, the heavy soil will sink, and the ash may simply wash out with the water. You're a genius! <laughs> All right, I shall remove the large rocks, fill the fields with water, and plow the soil. 